right, hello again. Uh, this is Jeremy Smith with Arc Design Labs. This is going to be another one of those quick five minute to ten minute tutorials um, on common missteps in Revit. Uh, one question I always get is how do you create angled walls or slanted walls in my project? Uh, the quick answer would be um, it's not very easy. Uh, <laughs> like other programs such as say ARCHICAD where you could just simply say slant wall enter but um, it can be done it can be done and um, so I'm just going to go through that workflow with you right now let's go ahead and open up a new project um, the way you have to sort of create angled walls in Revit is by using a mass it needs sort of a host mass that is the shape of what you're trying to create for it to reference and and be able to create that wall on top of so you can't just take a wall and slant it, you have to use the mass as a reference. That's the short answer. So, to show you how to do that, I'm just going to start with a generic uh, project. So you can use it. Um, let's just say you wanted this wall slanted or something. Or maybe this wall as well. So you wanted those two walls slanted, so I'm just going to make these some other type of wall. Something more interesting. Let's say that one. There we go. And let's go to 3D. Let's change this to shading with edges. There we go. Had some color there. Sweet. And um, so you want a slanted wall here and a slanted wall here. So in order to do that, we need a mask for the reference. So we need to go to Massing in Sight. And we're going to go to In Place Mass. Right, it's just telling me that show mass is enabled and that's useful because we need to see the mass when we're creating it so yes turn that on sounds great how about you never tell me again though so close and you can name it whatever you need to um, doesn't really matter um, unless you're doing a lot of masses and you need to start to categorize them and things of that nature but if you're only doing like one or two masses then you know the generic name is fine so mass one okay now the massing interface Without going too in depth, I'm sure we'll release um, some videos on massing, on just a massing interface because it can be that complex. But for now, we're just going to do a basic, simple extrusion. Um, so I'm just going to. A basic extrusion is basically you draw a shape and then you extrude it up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a rectangle. And I'm going to draw the shape I want to extrude up. So I'm going to start at the bottom here, from this corner to this corner. That corner. And then there's my shape. And I'm just going to go to Modify, M Enter. It's the shortcut I use. I'm going to click the profile, and I'm just going to say Create Form. What this is going to do is just create a basic extrusion straight up. Bam. So there's my box, 3D box. Now, we don't want straight walls. We want angled ones. So what we need to do is select this edge here. It'll tell me down here at the bottom left what I'm actually selecting. So if I go here, it says, all right, form element edge. If I'm here, it'll say surface. From here, it'll say surface. We don't want surfaces. We want this edge here. So we can drag it across and sort of start to manipulate this whole form, which is nice about the new massing in Revit 2010. You can start to actually just, you can start like a square box and just keep manipulating it until you get what you want. So, so start with the box. Now I'm just going to move this over to wherever you want it, you know, per se, I don't know where you wanted, you know, the angle to be. So that looks good. Um, if you want to be more accurate, of course, you'd go to plants and sections and elevations and to get, you know, a more accurate reading of where you're actually dragging these markers. But <coughs> this is just, you know, for demonstration purposes. All right, so we have these two angled walls now. Now that we have this, we can put a wall on these faces. So once you're done with the mass, you can just say finish mass. That'll take you out of the massing environment and back to your normal project view. But the mass will be here in plain sight because the show mass button is on. Turn that off and you take your mass off. But we need it on right now. All right, so that's on. We're going to model by face, and we're going to choose a wall. Let's do a let's do a four inch, let's do a six inch masonry wall. I'm going to click that, and bam, it creates that wall for us. That simple. Now, on the other side, I'm going to do model by face curtain system on this wall here. And 5 by 10, okay, create system. And now we have a curtain system on that wall. 
Now, to get these walls to match up with the box here, we're going to actually select that wall and say Edit Profile. Now, these lines tell you what defines that wall. So we don't want the wall to be rectangular anymore. We want it to actually slant with the new slanted walls we just added. So we're going to draw on a new slant here with the Line tool to match the one we just created. Now we're going to trim TR, 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 TR. We're going to trim here and here, here and here. And now we're going to modify and delete these lines we don't need. We're going to modify and delete the lines we don't need. Now we hit finish wall and the wall takes on the shape we just defined for it. Now what you can do is you can turn the uh, mass off and there you have your building with slant walls and the walls on the side changing to that profile. Do the same here for, as we did for this one to create that wall that will match up with those two angled walls. <clears throat> and there you have it. There's just a simple explanation. Um, but if you were, let's say you had a building that had crazy walls everywhere, you wouldn't want to do this custom for every single wall. You'd probably want to start with the mass, which would be massing to design, which is another series we'll, we'll probably release later, where you sort of start with this crazy mass you created, you know, for your project, and then you take that mass and make walls and roofs out of it, all using this sort of model by face tool. Um, so you start in a massing environment, the conceptual massing environment, take the mass you created, br bring it into the project, and then start to mass out floors, walls, and things of that nature um, from that versus this workflow which is you sort of have your building done you just wanted to add one or two slanted walls you know to your project um, without having to go through all of that so so this is the faster workflow for just a few walls if your whole project is sort of slanted and crazy then you might want to start from the massing environment and go from there alright so if there's any comments or suggestions uh, please let us know if I'm talking too fast let me know <laughs> and um, we'll see you next time thanks